Uh, camera, you are welcome to do that one. It is not required. Um, uh, just if you see my camera uh, or photo, uh, you know, web camera that is good enough for you. Okay, let us see how. Um, let, let us talk about uh, the course in the next few minutes. Um, I will run a couple of uh, PowerPoint presentations. Uh, first PowerPoint presentation about myself. If you have any questions, please let me know anytime. Uh, my name is uh, Madhu Tumala. Uh, my educational qualification is uh, BA Mechanical from Andhra University College of Engineering. Uh, I did a PG Diploma in uh, Materials Management. I did a Software Quality Management course from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. I also did Project Management and Communication from IIT Bangalore. This is about my education. I am basically from non-IT background. Uh, uh, I have moved from non-IT to IT almost 15 years ago. And to prove myself in the industry, I did many certifications in IT industry. One of them is that PMP Project Management Professional from Project PMI Institute, Project Management Institute. And I also did ITL certification. Uh, I was certified by Quality Assurance Institute. Uh, the certificate name is that CSC, Certified Software Testing Unit. I was also got the certi certification from Mercury previously. Now, now currently, um, you know, uh, the company Mercury is acquired by uh, HP. Previously, it was a Mercury company. I did a cert, uh, certification from Mercury. The certification name is that QTV, Certified Product Consultant on QTV. I was also trained on Six Sigma Green Belt. Uh, these are all uh, some of my certifications. I have uh, more than 14 years of software testing experience in uh, India, USA, and Canada. I have domain experience in uh, um, healthcare, supply chain management, e-commerce, pharma, B2B human resources, telecom, insurance, investment, and finance. I have conducted more than 200 batches uh, for uh, QA, BA, and uh, PMP, um, and I trained more than uh, 2,000 people. 2,000 people in 200 batches, uh, um, I, I was giving uh, a training for BA and uh, PMP also. Now I stopped BA and PMP. Uh, some other trainers are uh, conducting the courses for these uh, um, two courses. Uh, from uh, get software services. I have overall teaching experience of 20 years and non-IT experience 2 years and software testing experience 15 years. My other activities are financial planning and uh, financial services. This is about me. Okay, let me do run another PowerPoint presentation about the course. Um, you have a lot of questions are there. In the next uh, 15 minutes, uh, your questions will be answered even if you don't ask here. Let us see what is the course. We have five weeks course. Um, there are the, um, there are two courses are there. Total uh, uh, five weeks is the duration of the course. If it is a fast track, there are two tracks are there, fast track and normal track. If it is a fast track, it is a five weeks course. Um, in the uh, in the courses, we have QA course and uh, advanced QTP course is there. You know, automation testing course, two courses are there. In the QA course, we have manual testing concepts, uh, quality center, QTP, load runner, Unix, and uh, SQL are part of the course. And uh, in the manual testing, we these classes will be conducted on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Whereas in automation testing, we have advanced QTP and VB scripting are part of the course. Uh, we have classes on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for uh, um, advanced QTP. Uh, yes, such a we have the units after uh, 10, 15. Uh, not now, you know, uh, some, one of you is asking the question, uh, private question, uh, through chat message about the Unix class. That's the uh, Unix is part of the course. and. Uh, uh, from for the previous batch people, I will uh, give the class at 10:15. Uh, Please uh, uh, wait till that time. Okay, so I'm moving to next slide. As I said, uh, we have two tracks.
Okay, could you tell, show me one? Uh, there is. A, it looks like there, there is some bug here uh, in the go to training. The bug is that you know here I wrote with a pen here. You see the pen, uh, whatever I wrote here in the last uh, in the previous slide, this should be erased if I put a Alt tab. You know, if Alt tab, if I come back, this should erase as per the previous functionality. Till last month, till last week. Last week means uh, till uh, uh, Friday. It was observed that when I put like this, you know, if I change the screen, these things should arise, but they are not arising. Is it a change in functionality or it is a bug? I don't know. But uh, it is observed that uh, the new feature, this uh, um, camera. You are seeing my uh, um, live. Uh, cameras here. So the new feature is added uh, during this weekend for by go to training. At that time software is also updated. I don't know. Because of that, these things are not arising. However, as a workaround, I can be able to erase these things uh, by doing the erase all drawing. Some there is some one more uh, uh, feature is there. Uh, we, by using that I was able to erase this one. Okay, I'm going to this one again. Sorry. Is there any network delay for anybody? The network delay means, you know, if I if I write something here immediately, you should be able to see. For example, I am putting a tick mark here. If you are able to see this tick mark in less than uh, two or three seconds, means that's fine. Otherwise, uh, it's a problem. No delay in the network. That sounds good. Uh, uh, no network delay, uh, let no network latency. Network latency means uh, no no delay. That's wonderful. Because uh, I want, <laughs> yeah. Because uh, you know, last month, uh, last week I was in uh, uh, India on vacation. Uh, there was a lot of uh, network delay. Uh, it, uh, you people have complained uh, this one. Okay. Today is the first class. Uh, so let us see. Uh, Thank you, Apajita, and everybody. So here, normal track will have a ten weeks course. In this, we have manual testing classes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. After completing the manual testing classes, you can attend for QTP basics and advanced classes on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, if you see this one, you know all seven days a week we will have the classes. You know. Every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, manual testing classes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have advanced QTP classes. Fast track. If you are following the fast track, every day you have the classes. In a fast fast track duration is five weeks, and it includes manual testing classes plus advanced QTP classes. QTP basic and advanced classes on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is about fast track, and a normal track we have ten weeks. If you are a beginner, I recommend you to go through normal track only. Don't rush and uh, complete the course. Or otherwise, uh, um, sometimes you know you may not be able to complete the course uh, um, uh, due to some uh, some problem with uh, uh, you know homework. I give a lot of homework. Sometimes you may not be able to complete all the homework and exercises. So it is recommended to go with uh, normal track. Uh, Raki is asking, what uh, time does the normal track start? Now, now you are in a. If you, no, it's, it's very simple. Let me to explain you what is meant by normal track and a fast track uh, uh, example. One second. It is a uh, some. Uh, it's one of the question for for you guys. Okay, I am trying to write here. Okay, here normal track is here, and here we have the fast track. Let us see. Today, um, I am I am in a normal track. Assume that A person A is in a normal track. So normal track means we have classes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And 
standard class today. Right? Normal track, I have classes only on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Let me to complete like this five weeks. Five weeks completed like this. Only by attending Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four, four days a week. Let me to complete like this five weeks. From the sixth week, what I will do? I will attend classes on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday and Sunday from sixth week onwards. Sixth to tenth week I will attend like this. This is normal track. First five weeks, first five weeks I will be attending like this. Later five weeks, you know, I will be attending like this. This is normal track. What is fast track? Fast track means um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Let me to attend uh, um, manual classes. Okay. And uh, QTP classes. I will attend on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So this is a fast track. So that means if I if I go with fast track I can be able to complete the course in five weeks. Just five weeks I can be able to complete. If I go with normal track, it's a ten track ten weeks. So I recommend you guys to go with the normal track if you are a beginner. All beginners are recommended to attend normal track only. So this is uh, this is whatever I'm explaining. This is getting recorded, and uh, um, you need not to write uh, anything. I will send you the running notes at the end of the class. So no need to write. Every day we have 75 minutes class daily from 9 p.m. to 10:15 Eastern time. There will not be any change in the class, no cancellations. I will start the class on time and, uh, and uh, class will be closed on time. Unless uh, there is a, uh, some major thing happens, uh, there will not be any class cancellations. You know, if there is any long weekend, yes, uh, uh, there may be some adjustment in the class. I may take, uh, I may give the time off, but uh, that will be compensated by taking extra classes. So I think in this month there is no long weekend in uh, next five weeks. Next five weeks I, th I guess there is no long weekend. For Canadians uh, one long weekend is there. I think Good Friday is a long weekend, right? Uh, Friday? Yeah, Good Friday 29th uh, at, uh, at the extra time we have long weekend. But uh, I don't know whether uh, it is a holiday in uh, um, every office or not, I don't know. Okay, so you have to register for the course uh, every day. Every day it is required to register for the class by using this link. Here I have the link. Please register by using this link every day. And I recommend you to join at least 15 minutes prior to the class. If you join after, if you try to join after 9 p.m., assume that Due to some reason, you are not able to log in. Then if you call me, I cannot be able to answer your call. Reason is that I am already in the class. I cannot answer your call if you call me after 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern time. Please don't call me after 9 p.m. Eastern time. Reason? You will be disturbing almost 40 people in the class. In my class, always, you know, 40 people will be there. It is a disturbance to all the 40 people. Please don't call me after 9 p.m. So I recommend you to call, uh, join in the class at least 15 minutes prior to the scheduled time. And every day, please please use the same link. Okay, tomorrow you can call me. Okay, Madhu, I am not able to log in, you know, and it says that this training is over. I am seeing that, I am seeing that this training is over message. Why? Because you did not register. As I said, you know, please register daily. Daily registration is required. 
प्लीज यूज द सेम लिंक फॉर रजिस्ट्रेशन पर्पज सो यू यू सेव दिस लिंक समवेर इन अवर ब्राउजर बुक मार्क दिस लिंक इन द ब्राउजर एंड यूज द सेम लिंक फॉर रजिस्ट्रेशन एवरी डे यू नीड टू रजिस्टर दैट इज हाउ गो टू ट्रेनिंग इज डिजाइन गो टू ट्रेनिंग सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर डिजाइन इन सच ए वे दैट एवरी डे रजिस्ट्रेशन इज रिक्वाड फॉर द क्लास दिस इज माई परमनेंट लिंक सो प्लीज यूज दिस लिंक फॉर रजिस्ट्रेशन पर्पज However, I will give you one reminder at the end of uh, today's class. So, how wha, what is the uh, how how you can use your headset? You know, if you have the headset, you can is okay. But uh, uh, I recommend you to you guys. I recommend you guys to use the telephone. If it is a landline, that is so nice. If you use the telephone, it would be very nice. Uh, please use the landline. Okay, guys. It looks like that there is some bug here in the software. Go to training. I am not able to use the pen now. Okay, now pen pen is working now. Some some issues are there. You see some. Have you observed some spot here? This spot. Uh, This is due to bug in this software yesterday. The software is updated last week. I don't know. Here I have used the spotlight. Uh, then I got this bug. So some spot. Okay. So please dial to this conference number due to some reason. If you are not able to uh, hear over headset, or if you want to talk something, some of you have, um, uh, some of you are using headset, but there is no mic. You have the headset. but there is no mic if you wanted to talk in the class you know you can dial to conference number um, united us people please dial to this conference number canadian uh, you can dial to this local number for better audio please use the landline not the um, you know voice over ip phone vivo ip phone you know if you use the one is phone such kind of things your voice may not be in uh, uh, good clarity Okay, material. At the end of the class, I will uh, send you the running notes um, every day by email. So to receive the email, please add uh, info at getsoftwareservices.com to your contact list. Um, because uh, in, I am sending the email to so many people, uh, it may go to the spam folder. Please mark. Please add me to your uh, mailing list. Please, sorry. Please add me to your contact list so that. Uh, Uh, you can be able to receive the running notes without any issue how to contact me you know you can ask the questions uh, in the classroom itself here in the class you can ask the question or uh, you can send me the chat message i can be able to answer your uh, queries instantly or otherwise uh, you can call me separately at this number if you uh, us people please call to this number canadians uh, please call to this number now whatever may be the phone number it will come to my cell phone no i can i put it uh, call forwarding you know it will come to me uh, any number is good but uh, uh, please based on your uh, country location please use appropriate phone to avoid the charges by your uh, uh, phone provider you can also send me email you know for better reason please send me email i can be able to respond to your queries within 8 hours time maximum it was uh, sometimes i may respond in one or two uh, hours also you know please use info at get software services dot com for uh, any emails communication what other services i can provide you so every day i will give you lot of homework we will do resume uh, sorry one on one homework review a setup meeting with you guys for uh, reviewing the homework and uh, lot of homework will be given every day Exercises and assignments will be given in the class. I also provide the remote lab access. That means from your home, you can be able to log on to my computer for doing the practicals. I provide the software, but uh, you know sometimes it is difficult to install the software on your computer because of uh, operating system compatibility. So um, yeah, to avoid all those things, I can be able to provide the remote lab access. 
directly you can log on to my machine. Here I have a virtual machine installed. You can be able to use my virtual machine for uh, doing the practicals. I will explain you those details, you know, how to use my lab uh, down the line. So I will also help you with resume walkthrough, mock interviews. Every day I record the classes and upload into the, my website. Uh, now the current class is I am recording and I will upload this uh, uh, class after the, uh, I will record this, uh, I will record the, uh, sorry, I will upload this uh, recorded class to my website. I will show you how to access my records. You can be able to rejoin the class multiple times. You know, no need to pay the additional fee if you wanted to repeat the class. Okay, due to some reason, you know, some, sometimes uh, um, I may not understand everything in one shot. Madhu need the repetition. Madhu cannot understand everything in one shot, so I need to repeat it uh, live classes sometimes. So you can, I can be able to uh, rejoin the classes without any additional payment. So I provide the resume marketing tips and placement assistance and provide you the on-job support due to some reason if you wanted to, if you want my help uh, while you are working, I can be able to provide you that one. So, how to see this uh, recorded videos? Um, uh, I will show you how to register my on my website. Please go to www.getsoftwareservices.com. Once you go there, you can uh, navigate to the uh, page students and uh, register. Here in the menu, you have students and register, click on this register, uh, fill this form at free of cost, no need to pay this form, uh, no need to pay anything to fill this form, just uh, fill the form and register, I can be able to approve your registration within uh, 8 hours time. Once it is approved, you can be able to log in. To log in to the uh, web, my website, click on students and login and uh, I can be able to um, login with my registered email. So here this is your view. Here in this uh, you can be able to see your videos. So click on view videos. You can be able to see all the previous videos. You see on a daily basis um, I upload the videos. Every day all the videos are available. You can be able to download these videos and save into your local computer. Uh, you can be able to play back them any time. Due to some reason, um, I missed the first 10 minutes of the class. I, I, I joined in the class late. First 10 minutes I missed, it, missed the class. Then I need not to be panicked. Just uh, um, I can go to the website, download the video and play that uh, missed part. 10 minutes video I can be able to play. Or last, uh, if I wanted to go early, yes I can go. Um, and uh, I can be able to download the video and uh, uh, cope up with the class. And uh, material also, a lot of material is there in the website. You can uh, download all the material. You see here, um, you are seeing, you are seeing uh, material. Uh, um, you can download the material and uh, save to your computer. So this is about uh, accessing of the material and uh, daily videos. Okay, let me to go further. Okay, how is the job market? This is a major question for all the people. So, manual testing, we have a lot of jobs are there. 85 percent jobs are there in the manual testing, whereas in automation testing like, you know, QTP, or selenium, these kind of the tools are occupying around 13 percent jobs. Oh, that's a 13 percent jobs only there in automation testing, whereas in a manual testing, we have 85 percent jobs are there. There is a no substitution for manual testing. Let many tools come into the market, but manual testing has its own importance. Nobody can replace the manual tester. Tools are the um, helping hands to manual testers. Tools like QTP or uh, Selenium or uh, uh, Rational, uh, Rational Robot or uh, uh, Silic 
so there are so many automation tools are there all those tools helps a manual tester so manual tester in manual testing we have majority jobs are there whereas in automation 13 percent and performance testing we have just uh, two percent jobs are there this is about job market so to get into these things you know what kind of tools have we i need to learn there are multiple uh, tools you need to get familiar uh, i have classified the tools into uh, four varieties test management tools defect tracking tools functionality testing tool and uh, performance testing tool um, here navneet is asking about performance testing so navneet will discuss about performance testing in our class for uh, load stress volumes and uh, load runner class there is a one tool called load runner we will discuss about load runner uh, um, uh, tool uh, sometime uh, um, in the second week of the class so i have given some examples of the each and every tool for test case management we have quality center tool clear quest qa complete many tools are available but however we will learn only quality center if you know one tool you need not to learn other remaining tools it is easy to play with the remaining tools so how it is possible now if i know quality center how can i be how can i able to use clear quest this is the question in class we will learn quality center only we will not use we will not learn a clear quest in the class that in your due to some reason at your workplace your company is using clear quest as the tool for test management is it possible to use it yes it's similar to like you know for example you know driving you know one of the best uh, driver currently you are uh, using honda civic are you able to use uh, toyota camry is it possible to use toyota camry without uh, additional training yes it is possible so driving is the concept if you know that concept you don't care about the brand or make car brand or car make you need not to worry so here if you know the concept of you know tool how this is used for testing test management if you know how test management happens you know tool you don't care any tool it is could be quality center or clear clear quest or qa complete you can be able to use it very quickly in less than 5 minutes just uh, give me 5 minutes yes i can be able to use clear quest if if i know quality center if i know quality center very well clear quest is nothing for me in just 5 minutes i can learn it oh today i saw in the newspaper there is a, uh, one new tool m center is uh, released m center means madhu center just i released one tool madhu center oh can i use madhu center tool yes because i know quality center i know quality center madhu center tool is nothing for me so don't worry about the tools tool is a tool you know it's a helping hand for the tester similarly for defect tracking we have so many tools are there in the market quality center clear quest bugzilla pvcs yeah yes mom that today only i created it m center but you don't believe it you know just uh, i'm telling that you know is a fake is not correct one m center is a, a tool just for uh, <laughs> i'm saying that you know if there is a new tool coming to the market definitely you should be able to use it if you know the concepts concept of test management or defect management you need not to worry about uh, any tool today i am familiar with quality center tool but uh, there is a new tool mamata center is there you know mamata center no problem you can use it so um to defect tracking there are multiple tools are there quality center clear quest bugzilla pvcs we will uh, we, it is not possible to learn each and every tool available in the market it is not possible to learn each and every language available in the market 
there are so many languages are there c java dot net sharp c sharp pascal cobol fortran you know it is not possible to learn each and every language available in the market any take uh, any developer developer say that hey, okay i am expert in java all developers are not experts in all the languages because so a developer concentrate only on particular single language okay they i am good at java or i am good at dot net i am good at c language i am good at pascal like this developer says that similarly testers also need not to learn each and every tool available in the market just know one tool thoroughly if i know one tool remaining tools i don't care it is easy to use the other tools if i know one language developer never care about other languages you know they, they say that okay um, if i know java dot net is very easy for me to learn so let us uh, try to uh, understand the concepts uh, uh, while using the tools for functionality testing also we have many tools are there like qtp rational robot silk selenium many tools are available in the market we will be learning qtp for functionality testing similarly for performance testing we have many tools like uh, load runner silk performer rational load many tools are available uh, we will learn a uh, load runner as a tool for uh, um, performance testing so who is eligible to work as a qa many people ask me this question you know, okay i am from non it background am i eligible for uh, uh, work uh, am i eligible for a uh, uh, qa job what is the prerequisite for a uh, qa job this kind of questions were asked by many of you guys so for that uh, to answer that one you know here is the uh, a slide it is not required to have computer science background if you are a computer science person it is a bonus for you you know it is a not mandatory to have uh, it related degree if you have out of box thinking attitude you know yes you are eligible to work as a qa yeah we can do attitude is required and you should be able to learn or upgrade your skills continuously If you are a hard worker or a smart worker, yes, you can be able to work as a um, software tester. You should be a, you should be open to learn new technologies and upgrade your knowledge. Uh, if you are able to update the skills continuously, yes, you are eligible to work as a QA. Uh, you, you know, you should be able, you should be trained on a database or any programming language. You know. this is the um one of the prerequisite for uh, uh, you know to work as a tester no sql trained on a database what is my database sql queries any every tester must be able to write uh, sql queries if you are uh, proficient in writing the sql queries you are the best so in uh, many of the job descriptions it is clearly write that uh, um you know we are looking for a person who is good at uh, as uh, writing the sql queries please please uh, um uh, refresh your uh, sql uh, memory um, and uh, try to update uh, i know uh, uh practice uh, sql very well if you know any programming language uh, that's a bonus for you okay so uh, i recommend to do some certification any certification given here are uh, fine so quality assurance institutes qai is offering some certification like cse certified software tester if you write this certification it is a benefit for you now why certification is required certifications are required for better marketability you know to uh to market your resume is one of the selling point if you say that i am a certified person yes the recruiters like your resume and uh, uh, they are they are interested to talk to you so if i say that you know i am not a certified you know it's uh, difficult to 
uh, get the interview calls. You know, it's not again, it's not mandatory. It is not mandatory to um, uh, have the certification. Mamta is saying that how much we have to pay for certification. Uh, we need the question is that does the experience count the same? Count same. Yes. Uh, we need the actually jobs are available for people who have five years of the experience. So uh, I recommend you to um, attend this class only if you have the five years of the experience. It is a uh, uh, fact is that jobs are not available for freshers. This is the fact. So if you have no five years of experience, this is not the right class. Okay, that's great. Uh, Vinita is having job, that's fine. Mamta is uh, um, asking uh, for how, what is the certification fee. I will explain you that, uh, Mamta, in a few minutes. Um, where we, Chitra's question is that where we can go and appear for exam. Okay, I will explain you something about certification here. Okay, all the related uh, uh, links are in, given in the PowerPoint presentation. No need to write down these things. Uh, here I am going to software, uh, open software certifications.org. This is a website for QAI, Quality Assurance Institute. QA is the world's most uh, honored institute for quality assurance. So, uh, some standards are there in the industry means, um, uh, you know, that is uh, due to QAI's effort. There are many other institutes also, like IEEE, uh, IEEE uh, means IEE, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, and uh, ANSI, American National Standards Institutes, Quality Assurance Institutes. These are some of the standard institutes. These companies, these organizations are offering some certifications. So here I will show you those certifications. Based on your experience level, these certifications are offered. You know, here you are seeing that um, multiple certifications like certified software tester, certified manager of uh, software testing. These are some of the certifications are being offered. You know, just uh, please go through this uh, uh, this website and uh, try to understand about uh, what kind of certifications are offered by QEI. Or otherwise, uh, there is one more organization, ISTQB. Just I am opening ISTQB dot org internet what is meant by ICB international uh, uh, software testing qualifications board ISTQB means international software testing qualifications board this is uh, based in uh, United Kingdom whereas QA is based in uh, Florida Orlando Florida QA is based but uh, ISTQB is in uh, London. So, whatever may be the uh, certification, you know, um, either it is a CSCE by QA, uh, QA CSCE or ISTQB certification, any certification is good enough for you to uh, gain the knowledge. You see, unless there is a pressure, we cannot study. You see, here, if you, unless you write the certification, you will not gain the knowledge. So, unless you pay the fee, you will not study. If you pay the fee to this uh, ISTQB organization or to write the certification, you know, you cannot study. So, please pay the fee immediately to this ISTQB organization uh, to write the certification, then only you will concentrate more. So, the advantage of uh, writing the certification is that multiple multiple advantages are there. First one is that, first, uh, first advantage is that it is easy to shortlist your resume by recruiter and you can demand more money from the um, uh, your company, more, more salary you can uh, demand. Third one is that you will get recognition, peer recognition is there and uh, fourth one is that knowledge. Knowledge is power. You know, if you if you are knowledgeable person, you can demand like anything. You can be able to drive many people if you are knowledgeable. If you are certified, yes, you will get 
um, a lot of knowledge on a software uh, software uh, field. You know, I, I'm let me to compare two people. One guy, um, one guy is with uh, uh, um, 10, 10 years of experience. Two two people are there with 10 years of experience. One guy is certified and uh, another guy is not certified. Definitely, certified person will have the more knowledge because you know they, his knowledge is uh, evaluated by third party company. This ISDQB or QA, these are third party agencies. They evaluate the, our knowledge and they give the certification. If uh, it is your knowledge is evaluated by third party company, yes, we can say that yes. This person is uh, uh, yeah, up to the mark. So please try to get certification. Uh, you can be able to write this certification at a ProMetric Center. Okay, I think that I have given those uh, details in uh, my running notes. Let me to write those details in running notes also. This is my running notes. I will be sending you this running notes uh, every day after the class. See here, um, this is my website name and these are our contact numbers. This is the email ID. Um, just uh, um, I have mentioned that to avoid the background noise, your mic is in mute condition. Uh, you can also dial to these conference numbers for better audio. So every day please don't forget to register by using this link. Please bookmark this link. This is a comment by me. Okay, please log in at least 15 minutes prior to the scheduled time. I cannot be able to answer your calls if you call me after 9 p.m. So this is general information is here in this running notes. Okay, uh, in this running notes I uh, have also documented what is there in the manual testing and uh, advanced QCP, um, uh, you know, normal course and uh, fast track, normal track and fast track, what are all there, here it is mentioned here. In uh, manual testing, five weeks course, we have all the manual testing concept, quality center, basics of the QTP, basics of load runner. Introduction to Unix and introduction to SQL, these are all uh, uh, part of uh, manual testing. There is an advanced QTP, we have basis of QTP, VB scripting, advanced QTP and rest of uh, QTP and quality center are uh, part of the course. Uh, Mamsa is asking about uh, um, a few questions here. Uh, um, one question is that for beginners, CA, SQ is best or we can do CSQA. Uh, no need to answer, it is not required to go for CSQA. CSQA is not good for beginners. Uh, I recommend you to go with uh, normal uh, other courses like CSTE or uh, uh, certain kind of courses. Um, I will give you the um, sample questions, Mamsa, otherwise if you pay the fee, uh, ISTQB will send you the, all the sample questions. Uh, as per my understanding, at least 200 hours uh, time is required to prepare for the certification. Exam certification, if you prepare for 200 hours, definitely you can be able to clear the exam. Otherwise, uh, due to some reason, if I fail in the exam, I lose my money. So I don't want to take any chance to lose my money. So I have to study hard to clear the exam. Here you have some more questions. Some of you have uh, some questions. I think I have seen some uh, raised hands. Um, some of you have raised it. Do, do you, if you, if you ask me the questions here, that's fine. You can also directly send me chat message. Okay, here. Um, 
you can pay the fee directly to ISTQB or CSTE and you can go to the Prometric Center to write the test. Uh, what is what I meant by Prometric Center? Okay, one second here. I, you see here I have given the um, name name of the organization. Prometric Center is the center who conducts the online tests. Uh, not only online test, uh, it uh, also conduct uh, many tests like uh, GMAT, GRE, TOEFL, uh, IELTS, uh, not IELTS, you know, uh, TOEFL, GRE, these kind of tests uh, are conducted by Prometric Center. Just identify the uh, nearest Prometric Center um, uh, to uh, write the examination. Sorry guys, due to jet lag, um, I had a very tough time today. If I am able to manage today, you know, from tomorrow onwards, everything looks good. Okay, so some of the questions uh, from you guys, that how much I can uh, get uh, as salary if I work as a manual tester? So you know, if you are a green card holder or citizen or EAD with five years of the experience you can expect around 70,000 per year plus uh, paid vacation plus 401k plan uh, is similar to RRSP in Canada 401k or RRSP in Canada both are same plus the sick, sick leave you will get it if you are a, if it is a full time if you are a full time employee if you are working as a contractor you will get around 40 to 45 dollars per hour uh, and the is saying that how long is the test for CST certification? CST certification like this around uh, four and four, four to five hours, I guess. I think more than more than four and a half hours. Yes, uh, four and a half hours is the duration of the examination. Oh, it is so long, lengthy exam. Yes, a lot of um, you know um, questions are there in relation to the objective type questions. You need to uh, write. Uh, descriptive answers also. It's a, it's a, you need to write big, big essays in a CST exam. And passing score is around 75 percent. Okay. Let us see here. Uh, if you are an automation tester, you will get around 80,000 per year plus benefits. Benefits like um, you know paid vacation, 401k plan, uh, sick leave and all those things uh, um, if there is an automation register. <laughs> Mamta, yes, Mamta. You know, last week I was in the uh, last three weeks I was in India and uh, came here uh, yesterday, you know, because of that jet lag problem. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, automation tester will get around fifty to fifty five dollars per hour. Uh, uh, you know, if you are a, if you are working as an automation tester, if you have TN, uh, if you are a, a US uh, citizen to work in Canada, you need a TN visa, or if you are a Canadian to work in uh, US, uh, you need a TN visa. Either way, you, US people can work in Canada, Canadians can work in US by getting the TN visa. The, okay, some of the questions are answered here. These are all common questions every time people will ask. So I wrote this in uh, running notes. Okay, so these websites I already shown you in PowerPoint presentation. Okay, let me go back to PPTs. Okay, how to get the job opportunity? We will get the job opportunity through reference. In general, if you have any known person in the company, it is very easy to get the um, you know interview call. Once we get the interview call, it is uh, not so difficult to clear the interview. So, getting of the interview call is important. So, to get the uh, interview call, reference is one of the uh, major source. 
you can also post resume in uh, online job portals or you can uh, apply for jobs by doing the job search directly. Go to that uh, um, a job site like uh, Monster or uh, um, uh, what we call dice.com dice or Indeed um, or if you are in Canada it is work for police, Monster Indeed, these are all the websites uh, for doing the job search. Career Builder also. Thank you, Mom. Uh, and uh, associate uh, with some of the consulting companies like uh, uh, tech systems, Modis, Robert Hawk Technologies. These are all some of the direct vendors. If you have um, good relationship with uh, uh, the resource manager, you can be able to get the job uh, as soon as possible. Uh, in uh, your country, you have um, new immigration helping centers. In both US and Canada, you have new immigrant helping center help centers. They also search a job for you, or you can also directly apply from their your respective company's website. For example, go to Walmart. You know Walmart in career street, you can be able to apply for all testing related jobs. So this is another uh, source to apply for uh, QA job. Okay, so I, I would like to give you some homework today. Um, we will be following some book like Software Engineering by Pressman. So this is one of the book I recommend you guys. Uh, if possible, please try to get this book. This is, book is available in our uh, uh, county libraries or you know your city library. You can be able to find this one. Or um, uh, you can also, if you want, you can buy the book or otherwise you can borrow it. Um, uh, if you if you try to get this book from back home, you know, it may be somewhat cheaper. It's around 500 rupees uh, uh, in India. So somebody is coming from there, please ask them to bring this book. Or otherwise you can directly buy in Amazon. Amazon.com, you go there and buy this book. Here I am showing, show, giving you some links for uh, downloading the material, uh, no software for uh, quality center QTP load runners. I have given the links. I will um, the latter uh, at the uh, time of explaining the respective link. I will uh, show you how to download the respective software. Now I am giving you the trial version of the software, and those versions will expire in 30 days. I will uh, give you some work around how about uh, how to how to use those uh, uh, how to use the software after thirty days also. Okay, what is my homework? Okay, here Krishna is asking question about uh, what is the book about? Book you know textbook you know it is nice to have some reference textbook. The textbook is that software engineering. Software engineering by Pressman. Other name is that Pressman. Uh, this book uh, uh, is useful if you wanted to settle in software testing field. There is one chapter called software testing, around 100 pages uh, chapter is there. So I recommend you guys to go through that uh, um, software testing topic for better understanding. Uh, Mamta is saying that there is a free PDF file is available in the Google. Yes, Mamta, I know that. but. Uh, because it is a copyright material, I, I don't want to provide you that link, but uh, you guys are aware of how to manage that situation. You know, so any edition is fine, uh, Aparajita, you know, it's a fifth edition or sixth edition or seventh edition, doesn't matter, there is not much difference. Concept is important. Here, the concept, whatever is there in uh, fourth edition and the seventh edition, both are, are entire, you know, all the editions, we have the same concept. Nothing will change drastically. And they're saying that lot of information is there about FDLs. Yes, I recommend this book. This is one of the book uh, um, uh, prescribed by many universities, uh, particularly Andhra University. This is a, um, a prescribed book for uh, uh, studies purpose.
I'm just saying that PDF uh, um, is available for sixth edition. Yes, I I have seen that in the internet. It is available. Okay, so what is the homework for the day? Today I am giving you the homework. Oh, what? Madhu, you did not explain anything and uh, you are giving the homework. It is not fair. Yes, I know that, you know, I did not explain anything, but I am asking you to do some base training. Understand where you are before the class. Before the class, if you try to understand where you are, and after the class, you can be able to do the assessment, how much progress you made after the class. You can be able to do that one. For that purpose, I am asking you to do the baselining. What is meant by baselining? Baselining is one of the frequently used word in software testing also. Here, I am asking you to baseline your knowledge. Before, before this course, where you are, and after this course, where you are, if you want to compare or do the self-assessment, please uh, um, uh, try to complete the homework uh, given in this uh, pages. So homework is that, please study all the question and answers given in this website. Here we have frequently asked questions 1, frequently asked questions 2, and uh, less frequently asked questions. You have multiple tabs are there. So what I suggest is that go through each and every question and answer. For example, first question is that what is software quality assurance? You don't know the answer, no problem. Just uh, go here and uh, try to add in, try to uh, um, try to study these questions. Question and answers also given here. You know, just go through those these question and answers that will help you to um, understand about uh, um, what kind of questions will be asked in the interview. So you may not understand everything uh, immediately because uh, we are in the first day of the class. Definitely you will uh, uh, you will not understand everything. So my recommendation is that read this or study this like a novel. Assume that there is a novel, you know, story book is there at our home. Just uh, read this like a story book. It may or may not uh, you may not you may or may not you understand everything, but uh, um, if you follow the class for uh, four weeks or five weeks, you will be able to understand 100 uh, percent. Okay, one second guys. So, here this is a uh, This is frequently asked questions one. Similarly, go to frequently asked questions two. And uh, L fact, less frequently asked questions. Now, here uh, one of the questions from you guys is everything is to be studied by tomorrow? No, not required. No need to no need to study everything by tomorrow. No, just I uh, am giving you the, this as a homework. You know, if you if you do it by tomorrow, it is wonderful. Otherwise, no need to worry. We will discuss about all the questions and answers also. Whatever is given here in the class now the night. First day, just I uh, am giving you the uh, homework to make you busy. Just it's a kind of warm up session. It is not necessary to learn everything immediately by tomorrow. Try to warm up by um, going through all the question and answers. Here question from Anita, uh, in ISTGB, is it uh, enough to get foundation level exam? Yes, and uh, you know, in uh, ISTGB also, we have uh, foundation level exam. Uh, how it is possible to say that it is good enough? You know, is that whether it is a foundation or an advanced level exam? You know, it doesn't matter. In the certification, they write that ISTGB. So, to get shortlist your resume, some certification is good enough. It could be ISTQB or something else. A bar is asking how you will review the homework. 
I review the homework on one on one basis. For example, Bart is saying that, okay, I have completed to write some, some test cases. I can ask you to send me the test cases by email and I can do one on one review. So I, at this time, you know, you are seeing my screen, right? In the same style, I will open uh, um, your homework and uh, uh, do the corrections uh, in the uh, um, go to training. So it is not a group class, it is a one-on-one -on -one class. I will set up the time uh, during weekend to uh, discuss about uh, um, homework. So similarly in lab also I provide you. Uh, from your home you can be able to log on to my lab to do the practical. You know I will uh, uh, make sure that lab is available for you but 99%, uh, 99% um, guarantee I can give you uh, the lab guarantee. You know. 99% always lab labs are available. Majority times lab is available for doing the practice, but 1% I cannot give you the guarantee because of uh, um, you know session timeout issues. We will discuss about this uh, session timeout, uh, what is meant by that one. So my recommendation is that, my recommendation is that um, please use the lab if you are required to do some practicals. How you can do it? First you go log into the go to training just like this. Here um, I can show you how to use the lab. Here, um, okay, can I use my lab? Okay, for example, I am I can request uh, one of you guys uh, like uh, to use my computer. Can you be able to use my computer from your home? Yes. I am giving you the uh, control to Uma, saying that, uh, okay, Uma, could you just type hello here on my computer? Uma, Uma could you type hello? Okay, now Uma is uh, operating my computer and uh, trying to type here uh, hello on my notepad. Uma, could you type here something hello? You are not, uh, you are not typing. Say hello, type hello. So, uh, you have typed H only, no hello, not there, here on my notepad, yes, okay, this is typed by Uma, Uma. So, what I can say is that you can be able to operate my computer from your home if I give the permission. So, okay, so um, you can be able to use my computer here. Let me do come back. Sorry. Here I have um, virtual machine. Here is this is icon. This is the icon for a virtual machine. In this virtual machine, I have so many uh, tools like QTP, Quality Center, uh, uh, or Unix. These kind of things are installed on this machine. Uh, we will be doing the practical on this machine uh, from uh, following week onwards. So, any questions up to here? Anybody? Any anybody? Any questions? No questions. Here question from Deepa, um, not there. okay multiple questions here. Uh, Madhuri is saying that two days ago I have registered but I am unable to log in. Madhuri I will uh, approve your registration unless I uh, approve the registration you cannot be able to log into my website. Today I will uh, uh, review all the registrations and approve. Uh, Krishna is saying that uh, uh, Krishna has one question. Krishna. Don't we get the software installed on your on our system? Yes, Krishna, you can be able to install, but sometimes uh, you cannot be able to install if your operating system is uh, not suitable. For example, Mac computer. Assume that you have the Mac computer, you cannot be able to install. Or if you have the home edition, if you have the Windows 8, but it is home edition, yeah, no, you cannot uh, uh, install the software. So. Uh, 
some issues are there with uh, server installation. A quality center server you cannot install on a home computer. So if that is the case, it is a problem. So I will tell you some workarounds so how to install the software on your home computer or otherwise uh, you can be able to use my computer from your home to do remote practical. Question from Deepa, I don't have any database or IT knowledge. Is this course for me? Yes, you can, you have to learn this uh, database parallel to this one or after this course. After this course or parallel to this course, if you learn a, a database like uh, SQL queries. Database is a very huge area. Just uh, try to understand what you mean by SQL queries and uh, um, learn about SQL queries. This is important for all the testers. Learning of the SQL queries is important for the testing team. Okay, here uh, we have some more queries. Uh, Questavo is asking question, what are the minimum requirements to take the CST certification exam? Uh, Questavo, please, uh, please uh, uh, go to the um, uh, CST link one second. The software certifications uh, dot org I am going I am showing you this one more uh, page for software certification dot org here click on CSTE you will get all the um, requirements about uh, uh, CSTE Mamsa is saying that today uh, tomorrow I am unable to attend the class so can you record the class and uh, send me the recording yes Mamsa I will uh, upload the recorded video to the class, just please download it and uh, play the video. Deepa is saying that how long it will take to learn SQL. Uh, I can say that uh, try to um, uh, study for 25 hours, minimum 25 hours class is required. It is nice to have the 25 hours of the class for a better understanding of the SQL. Now next question is that can you just uh, put the website names in running or yes, all the website notes uh, or the websites whatever I explained are there in the running notes now, no need to write anything. Here question from uh, Bharati, any scripting languages also yes, so I will explain about uh, VB scripting, no need to learn separately, I will uh, explain how to how to write the VB scripting code. This is a part of the um, QTP class. I will uh, uh, explain that one uh, in QTP classes. By the way, for QTP we will have another trainer. Um, uh, her uh, name is that Priya Venkatraman. Um, Priya, Priya is uh, um, a very uh, good uh, uh, trainer and uh, she is uh, she is a certified instructor from Mercury, Mercury company um, in around uh, 2007 I guess, you know, um, uh, they are uh, giving 2006 or 2006 or uh, 2007 that time frame, um, they were conducting some uh, um, exams for the certified instructors. Um, 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 Priya, Priya Narayanan uh, got certification from uh, uh, Mercury. Uh, she will be our uh, QTP trainer. Uh, she has uh, rich experience in uh, uh, many companies uh, um, uh, like uh, Cognizant Technologies and uh, many companies. We have that one. So, however, I will also be in the uh, class and both of us uh, will uh, explain you about QTP. Okay, um, one second guys, yeah, I'm just checking. So, okay guys, so actually, 
now time is 10:15 i don't know whether i have delivered today properly or not half of the time i was sleeping i think you would have observed that one from tomorrow on what there will not be an issue tomorrow is the actually i can say the tomorrow is the first day of the class today we just had the orientation class and tomorrow onwards we will have actual class so please uh, uh, try to log into the class exactly at uh, 9 that 9 uh, you know uh, uh, before before 8:45 try to join in the class before 8:45 um so so that we can be able to start the class on time and uh, uh, finish the class on time so i will be sending this running notes to everybody who are, who is here in the class and no need to write anything um, please check your spam folder uh, um, if you didn't receive the running notes please send me email saying that okay madhu i attended the class but i didn't receive this one so you can attend the uh, one week trial classes after one week of uh, the trial classes if you don't like the class then you can drop off from the class and uh, it is uh, um, not required to uh tell me any explanation just uh, um you can evaluate the class and uh, we can go for further from here okay guys anybody any question actually i thought of giving a unix class for some other people but uh, i wanted to defer that uh, and uh, we'll have that unix class uh, tomorrow any questions anybody Okay, guys. So, um, if you have any questions any day, you know, as I said, you know, please call me here. These these are all my numbers. Uh, you can call to any number. I can be able to answer your questions. Please uh, try to complete the homework. At uh, the homework, uh, I have given you that one. So, uh, please please uh, uh, complete the homework by uh, uh, towards uh, by tomorrow. No, tomorrow it is not possible. So, take some time. And uh, try to baseline and uh, uh, go through all the question and answer just like a story, story book. How you study the, uh, how you read the story book in the same style. Please go through the question and answer. If you have any questions, you can. Uh, uh, we will be discussing those uh, question and answer. Here a question from Krishna. You mean Unix in the class? Yeah, okay, actually there is some uh, pending class is there for the previous batch. I thought of explaining that at 10:15 uh, after the regular class. So, uh, so get lag is not permitting me um, to give the class, the Unix one. 